Hi guys, and welcome to today's task. For today's task, we are doing all things three-way switches. I have built up a small jig here, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to wire a three-way switch with my simple tutorial. Let's get started. I wanna show you a couple things on this. I wanna show you how to wire a three-way switch, meaning how to know which wire to use, when to use it, so that you don't get it all mixed up, because you can be in a real nightmare with three-way switches. Secondly, I also wanna show you how to wire an outlet box so that you know how to kind of, I don't know, run new wire to a new box if you're going to and how to set it up. First of all, you'll need a set of wire strippers and I recommend these Southwire ones. They will also be the kind that have two different stripping sizes for 14-2 and 12-2. We are working with 14-2 wire, so those are the ones you want. I built this small jig to lay out kind of a simple diagram of how to build a three-way switch. This is going to be our light. Obviously, we have wire going up to our light and down into one of the switch boxes. Then we have what we call um, our runner wires, which is these. Oh. Silly Billy. Can't make a three-way switch without three-way wire. I have made a simple jig, and I saw this actually on a video, which I will link in the description down below. Thank you for the help, and I want to get this out to my audience as well. But this jig will represent how a three-way switch goes together. First you have your light, which we're ultimately trying to turn on and off, and then it's got to go through two different switches this switch and this switch, and then you have to have your power source, which is coming from your breaker box. Ours is actually gonna come from an extension cord today to demonstrate our point. First thing we need to do is identify all of our wire. This is considered a common wire, and this hot will be considered a common wire, and then these are our runner wires. We need to start stripping these wires, and when it comes to stripping the wires out of the box, I like to pull back just a little bit, crimp it right here, where I know I'm gonna be pulling from, and then pull the rest through the box. Then your sleeve comes off, this paper mesh comes off, and you have three wires, a white, a ground, which is copper, and a black, which is gonna be our hot. Then we gotta do the same for this side. Now this side we can't just use these wire strippers for because they will actually pinch the wires and we will nip open one of our hot wires or our neutral or something, we don't want that exposed. So when it comes to stripping this three-way wire, I want to try and make the stripped amount match this one. So I bring it out about even, get myself kind of a rough estimate of where I'm gonna go. I put my blade out just barely, and I lightly open this up. Now, you don't wanna to push too hard because you're gonna start scarring into um, existing wire and we don't want to mess with any of those sleeves but we do need to get this open and get the same amount roughly undone. We're going to expose everything and then just cut off this remainder. We're going to do the same for this box over here. So get the amount you want stripped. I like to take more than I need to because you can never have enough wire in a box but you can always have too little and that's a problem later on. This isn't easy to do with gloves, but if you don't do it with gloves, you will shred your hands. If you look at these, they've got holes all through them. That is strictly just from wire nipping and cutting. You can see how it cut and sliced that. That wire is razor sharp on the edges, so I recommend gloves whenever working with electrical wiring. Strip this one the same. And pull our sleeve off. Now we're gonna kinda line those up evenly and we're gonna start matching wires. First things first, a copper always goes to a copper. This will bond our coppers, and you need a pair of lineman pliers to bond these together really, really well. So we're gonna take both of our copper wires and start spinning them, and spin them until they are tight all the way up to their sleeves. And the reason I like to go on both sides of the box is because now, that can't pull out of there. It's kind of got something holding it. Then we cut off one half of that copper. 
And with our grounding nuts, these are special grounding nuts, you can use clips as well. It has a little hole in it, you slide it over top, and then twist on. Pull that one out of the way because we're done with it for right now. Next, we need to take both of the white wires. Since they don't quite line up evenly, I'm gonna cut them even and strip them the same. And again, take our lineman pliers, pinch them together, and twist them. Make sure they're good and snug all the way to the end. Then take a wire nut, put it on the end, tighten it all the way down, and that wire we can tuck out of the way as well. Now we're left with our common wire and our two runner wires. We're gonna do the same to this box. Putting that green nut does two things. It bonds all of our grounds in each line all the way together up to the light, and then it allows us an extra so that we can ground it to the light switch itself. Take both of our neutrals, strip them, and twist together. And if you get a long little bit on one side that's not lining up, I cut them just a little bit even. And then put our wire nut on. Now to get ourselves finally prepped for the light switch, I'm just gonna go through and strip the ends of all of these the same amount so that they're ready to go on a light switch. And do the same for both boxes. Now I'm going to show you a simple trick. This little eyelet is used for something. It's not just for decoration. It is used for a special purpose, and this is it right here. You put it through the wire, just till it comes through, and then turn it, and you'll get that perfect hook to hook around your light switch. And I know some people like to use the plug sections of their light switches. I prefer the hook method because I guarantee it's not coming undone. So go ahead and create hooks in all of your lines. With all of our wires stripped and hooked, we are ready to start attaching light switches. And on your light switch, you'll see four different screws. One is a ground, that's pretty self-explanatory. And there are two brass ones on each side, and then there is a black one. And on these three-way switches, the most easy way to identify things are, these two are the same because they are both runners, and this one is different because it is a common wire. And by common, it means it's one of the single wires that's gotta do a purpose. In our scenario here, the hot wire that goes to the light switch is a common, and the power that comes into our box is a common, and the other two are just considered runners. So I've gone ahead and tucked away the white wires because we're not gonna need those. They're already connected, they're continuing the series already, so we're good. What we need left are these four wires, the common, the ground, and the two runners in both boxes. First, we're gonna connect our ground. And I like to use my drill to connect these because I know they're good and solid. Next, I'm gonna connect the common wire. And whenever you're wrapping these, wrap the hook the direction the screw is going to turn so that it pulls the hook in. For instance, this screw is going to turn to the right, so I put it so that it wraps to the right. Next, we're gonna put our red one on this side. That way, I just know which side it's going on. Red is gonna be on the same side as our common. It doesn't matter either way, but you just have to be consistent on both light switches. And then last, our other, com or our other runner on this side. Then we can tuck this light switch in. So repeat the same process. Start with your ground, and then our common. And make sure you can identify it in the box. This is our common coming in. This 
is our two runners. Remember our red we said was gonna go on the same side as our common. And last but not least, our last runner on this side. And then we can put all this back in the box as well. Okay, I've gone ahead and plugged in my power. So this is the same as turning on the breaker at your main box. And we've got power running in here. Now we're gonna see if our three-way switch, if it's installed properly, is going to work. Let's give it a try. That's pretty good. Now if it works properly, this switch, when I flip it, will turn it off. That's pretty good. Now if it works properly again, this switch will turn it back on. These are installed correctly and our three-way switch works really, really well. Hopefully I was able to clarify some things in this video about how to install three-way switches. This is just one of the particular ways to wire them. Personally, I think it's the simplest and the easiest to keep straight in my own head. So it's how I've wired the three-way switches in this house. If you guys like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you guys are interested in these new Today's Task hats, email mytodaystask at gmail.com. I will leave a link in the description down below. They are $35, which does include shipping to your house. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Uh, where did my utility knife go? Joel, where did you put it? There it is, found it on the floor. Where is it? So I've gone ahead and, and I'm gonna sharp video. If you guys 